back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much god bless you if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video please please do that you won't regret subscribing so dear friends our today's video is going to be a story time yes guys i'm back again with a story time and this story is going to be very very interesting it is a very special story so so special guys because the lady who shared with us this story is disabled but found love on online dating apps isn't that interesting <laughs> so dear friends before i share with you this beautiful love story i would like to tell you where this video came from a month ago i did a video and i was giving you tips on online dating apps then came a comment from one of my subscribers she was telling me bella i'm struggling with my insecurities my body is not perfect i'll put that comment here so that you can read it but all she was saying is that her legs are small she does not have a butt so this has been disturbing her upper side she feels very very good with it but downside she feels bad about it very uncomfortable and her wish was she wants to know those dating sites for disabilities because she thinks when she joins those dating apps she will feel more comfortable because the dating apps she has joined she has not even uploaded full photo of herself she feels very very insecure and she also said when talking with guys on online dating apps when they make a video call they tell her to stand up when she stands up these guys run away so this has been really disturbing her when i got that comment i felt very sad for the lady but i asked her to come to me on instagram because it is solvable and it all starts with her so i wanted to help her out girl if you're still here watching please come on instagram so that we can talk i would also like to take this opportunity to thank all of you that saw that comment and wrote very encouraging words to this lady because all she needs is encouragement so that she can feel good about herself but i repeat guys just like i said in that video you can find love on online dating apps no matter the way you look even if you are disabled so guys susie is among of the people who saw that lady's comment she came to me on instagram and said bella i want to help that lady by sharing my story but not only that lady even other ladies out there that they are so insecure about their bodies about the way they look they're going to be inspired by my story and feel positive about themselves they are going to be helped by watching my story maybe it can change someone's life out there so when i got her dm i was so so happy i told Susie you can go ahead and share your story and thank you so much for reaching out to me so that is how i got this story of today so dear friends let's go back to our today's story our this story will be about a south african lady by the name of Susie disabled but found love on online dating apps Susie wanted us to know her disability her disability is that her legs are bended she can walk using her legs the only problem is that she pulls them she doesn't work that fast even her arms are bended so that is her disability and she tells us that she was born like that so friends when susie found love on online dating apps she was in her 30s working in the bank in south africa because susie has a master degree in economics such an intelligent lady guys no matter her disability she never stopped going to school so she studied that is why i'm telling you she's such a strong lady a very positive lady a lady that when you talk to her you appreciate life susie grew up 
feeling very normal because of her parents. Her parents are such strong parents, grew her up telling her to be positive, telling her that you are normal, don't feel that you are different from other kids. So she grew up like that. So guys, everything was very well in Susie's life, but one thing was missing that made her feel very different. Though her parents had put that positive energy into her that she should feel normal just like any other kid or just like any other human being yeah but when it came to dating when the teenage age passed then came the dating thing that is when she started feeling different because her friends were dating but she didn't have anyone until the age of 25 that's when Susie had her first boyfriend <laughs> she was over the moon you know when you feel loved after thinking that maybe it's because of the way you are that is why you don't have a boyfriend God answered her prayers and she was in love guys everything was going very well until <laughs> <laughs> she shared her goodies guys goodies can bring problems <laughs> into a relationship <laughs> so for Susie it brought that relationship to an end because after the guy taking the goodies that is when the guy disappeared without telling her anything you know you're talking to someone everything is very well you're planning lots of things even the guy promised to marry her so she was very happy that eventually she's going to start a family with that guy but when he took the goodies the guy disappeared and when Susie called do you know what happened picked another guy and was like you're talking to Freddie who is this <laughs> Then Susie was like, I'm looking for my boyfriend. Mention the boyfriend's name. The guy told her that this is wrong number and don't call this number again because I don't know you. The person you're looking for, I don't know him. Susie felt very bad, cried so much. And later on, guys, Susie came to hear from friends that that guy was with her out of curiosity. You know that some guys have got a very strange mind. You find a guy telling you, I want to date someone who is disabled, someone who is, you know, the albinos. For me, I have ever heard of such kind of a thing when I was in Tanzania. So that guy was with Susie out of curiosity wanted to see what will happen if i date someone disabled something like that some guys are so disgusting guys and so so cruel how can you do that how can you play with someone's feeling it's so so bad so susie felt so bad after hearing that that's when she closed herself was like i'm not going to date anyone else i'm going to stay like this she was in a situation whereby you don't know whom to trust because if i open my heart and maybe date someone else might be also like the other guy who was dating her out of curiosity so she decided to close it with dating so guys susie tells us that one day she was on youtube then came across this video of a guy who was disabled found love on online dating apps with a black lady who was normal not disabled after watching their video this couple said that they met on online dating apps and that is when susie started thinking like maybe i should try my luck on online dating apps i can find someone genuine just like this guy who found a genuine girl and they're living a happily ever after that's when suzy joined online dating apps so guys i know you want to know what kind of a dating app did suzy join i'm going to let you know as we continue with our story suzy joined that dating app it is a dating app which has both disabled and not disabled Abled people so after joining that dating app something happened Susie stayed five months without receiving a single message from a guy she could receive only likes she could reach out to guys but no one was responding her she felt so bad and was like maybe it's because of the way I am and decided to quit guys deleted that dating app completely continued with her life and her work guys as time passed kept on thinking of that dating app just like maybe if i join again i'm going to find someone why shouldn't i try again something that i have been telling you if you delete a dating app 
is not a solution because eventually you'll keep on asking yourself that what if i stayed maybe i could have got someone susie kept on asking herself such questions and eventually guys decided to install again that dating app after a week of joining started getting messages so so strange guys very strange got messages from different guys she also met same same guys that had same mentality with her ex the guy who was dating her out of curiosity <laughs> but she kept on searching until got a message from a danish guy a guy from denmark so she started chatting with this danish guy everything was going very well and this guy planned to meet her went down to south africa met susie everything was super super fine susie was in love and the guy was showing that he is really in love with her also took this guy to introduce him to her parents the parents were very happy to see this guy and susie's parents are parents who supported her in everything that is when when she brought this danish guy to introduce him the parents were very happy and supported susie because they wanted their daughter to be happy so everything went very well but susie told me that after watching my videos she came to realize that she made a mistake because this guy never talked of inviting her to denmark they were only talking about their relationship making plans even the guy was telling her that he will come again to south africa to visit her and she says that she was taking this slowly you know she didn't want to rush that is why she never asked the guy that invite me or i want to see where you live if she had watched my videos definitely she could have asked this guy to invite her in denmark so the relationship continued very well and if you want to know if susie shared her goodies yes she shared her goodies because she told me bella when i fall in love i fall in love that is why i gave this guy my goodies thinking that everything will be fine but again i did a mistake because after this guy returning to denmark it was a shock to susie because this guy posted a photo of him with a black lady on his whatsapp profile holding her waist when susie saw that she tells us that her heart started beating very fast asked herself who is this black girl this guy never told me about any black girl who is she she started calling this guy sending messages to the guy but the guy never picked never replied the messages she cried so much she couldn't even eat because you know guys when you are in a relationship with a guy especially these guys that you meet on online dating apps you plan a lot of things i told you guys you can even daydream due to the words these guys tell you so susie even dreamt of getting married to this guy but she is seeing her boyfriend holding a waist of another black lady she was in a confusion she couldn't even do anything kept on calling him after trying for the whole day eventually a guy picked and was like listen susie i am a married man yes we had a fight with my wife and i got angry decided to go on online dating apps came across you happened what happened but now we have decided to reconcile got back together so i am married please stop disturbing me don't call me ever again imagine guys try to put yourself in susie's shoes she was heartbroken she tells us it was a very very difficult moment for her because she was thinking of her past relationship experience of the guy who was with her out of curiosity and then this guy came used her and is telling her that i am married she was totally heartbroken so guys susie tells us that after meeting this danish guy because she was in love decided to delete her dating app account that was a mistake guys never delete your dating app account until you are sure of the guy until you're sure 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 keep on confirming guys i've been telling you if you cannot confirm don't believe a guy and i'll keep telling you because it's very very important so susie deleted her online dating app account and the guy dumped her 
told her that I am married, do not look for me again. So guys, after two weeks of everything that happened with a Danish guy, Susie was feeling very lonely because that guy used to send her messages every day. She was so lonely. You know when you're used to have someone who tells you I love you, give you, you know, that attention. So she was missing that and decided to go back to the dating sites. So she set up again her account afresh. <laughs> So she joined again the dating app, started chatting with different guys and she tells us that it was on a Saturday afternoon. She was on online dating apps, you know, going through men's profile, came across this guy's photo. <laughs> she tells us that this guy had a red jacket. He was in a mountain surrounded by snow skiing, but this photo really attracted Susie, decided to put a like on this guy's photo, <laughs> but never wrote any message to this guy. And this guy was from Germany. She tells us that after like 20 minutes, received a message from that guy. <laughs> The German guy, the guy was greeting her and was like, I saw you liked my photo. I went through your profile. I've liked it. You seem like a very good woman. I would really like to know you. So from there, they started chatting, told each other's story of the past relationship. Of course, started Susie telling the guy her past relationship. The guy was like, I am so sorry. And the guy also told Susie his story why he is on online dating apps. The guy told Susie that I have failed to find a lady who will love me for who I am. Cause I was married before I've been divorced for a year i am starting all over again but the problem is most ladies want men who have got it all at least the ladies that i have come across on this dating app even in real life that is why i am still here searching for that lady who will accept me for who i am so that we can start together Air fresh so that was the problem with this guy that was his experience when it comes to love Susie responded to this guy that for me I am ready to start afresh with any guy as long as this guy has got true love will love me truly for who I am but not games not out of curiosity like her past relationship experience a guy who will give me great love so they continued chatting and everything was going very well every day this guy could chat with Susie could tell Susie that you are an intelligent lady I really like your mind and this is very very important I remember I did a video in the past I told you guys looks don't matter when you are on online dating apps guys who are serious yes everyone wants to date a beautiful lady but they first look at the way you think how you talk how you think of life if you think the same about life that means that you can create something serious but if you think differently that is when it doesn't work so with this guy from germany he saw that everything Susie was talking about the way she thinks about life is the same way that this guy was thinking and that is why the relationship continued to be strong and stronger while chatting so friends after chatting for a month and a half it was so so fast <laughs> this guy told Susie I must come to South Africa to meet you but when Susie heard that I was like wait a minute hold on <laughs> no I don't want to make same mistakes of course she did not tell the guy that I don't want to make same mistakes but deep inside her was like no I'm not going to allow this guy to come to South Africa to meet me I will be the one to go visit him first so she said I am going to change and let's learn from these guys if you have been dating guys or you're on online dating apps and maybe you approach guys this way then you see it is not working it is making you cry it brings tears in the end it is time to change and do differently just like how Susie decided to do so Susie told this guy okay let's stop calling him this guy his name is Paul so Susie told Paul that look I want to be the one to come and visit you in Germany. 
what do you think <laughs> so paul was like it's okay i'll be so so happy if you come for me it's okay me coming or you coming is the same important we meet in person <laughs> So guys, they immediately started planning of Susie to travel, go to Germany, visit Paul, and everything went very well. She got the visa. We know she is working. She is employed <laughs> and she had money in the bank. <laughs> yeah. The day to go to Germany came, boarded a plane. She tells us that in the plane started feeling very, very scared. <laughs> and the reason why she was scared, it, it was her first time traveling to Germany alone. <laughs> she says that most of the times when she used to travel, she used to travel with her parents. But this time she was traveling alone to go see a stranger that she met online. So she was like, what if he sees me in person and don't like me, what will happen? But she told herself, let me take this risk and see what will happen. She also kept on praying to God that God help me. I hope he is the one. So friends, Susie landed in Frankfurt and guess what? Paul was there with a bunch of flowers waiting for her accompanied by his brother. That was a very good start, guys, because <laughs> you're meeting your boyfriend for the first time and he has got his brother with him. That shows that the guy is serious, not those guys that wants to hide you. You go visit him the whole trip, you don't see any of his relative. But with Paul, the brother was with him at the airport waiting for Susie. When Susie saw him, she was very, very happy. Happy. He hugged so tightly for a moment and she says that people at the airport were looking at them. <laughs> the way they were so happy to meet each other and after hugging, Paul introduced Susie to his brother and his brother also hugged Susie. That was a very, very beautiful moment for both of them. So guys, after that, they went to Paul's place and Susie tells us that she was treated like a queen. Sometimes she could ask herself, am I dreaming? <laughs> <laughs> you know guys when you receive too much love the love that you have never received <laughs> you ask yourself like is this for real so that is how Susie was asking herself am I dreaming oh it is true but it was true guys <laughs> So her stay in Germany was three weeks. And during those three weeks, Paul took Susie to introduce her auntie. Remember, he had introduced her to his brother. This auntie is a sister to Paul's mother. The auntie was very happy, welcomed her very well. Auntie never gave Susie a strange look or what, nothing guys. She acted very normal and very kind. Something that gave Susie a positive feeling. They had also planned to go visit Paul's mother, but they did not make it. Paul's mother left Germany like two days Susie arrived in Germany, went to Austria cause she had a daughter who had given birth. So she had gone there to see her daughter. That is why Susie never made it to see the mother-in-law. So guys, three weeks passed so fast and Susie returned back to South Africa. Paul was so sad to see Susie leaving. He wished that Susie could stay, but Susie had to go to work. I told you guys she works at the bank. The relationship continued. Everything was going very, very well. Talking on a video call whenever they could. And Susie was over the moon, guys, feeling loved. It's such a beautiful feeling, guys. <laughs> so, guys, after three months of Susie returning to South Africa, Paul told her that I want to be the one, come see your family. <laughs> and this time, I don't want any excuses. Because Susie had seen Paul's life. She gave the goodies, guys, when she went. <laughs> Yeah, you know, when you get that feeling that he is the one, no matter how many mistakes you have done in the past, but when your intuition tells you that he is the one, your inner voice will never be wrong. He is the one. So that is why she gave the goodies. And this time, Paul wants to come and see her parents. She was very, very okay with it. Paul started planning for the trip and went down to South Africa. I told you guys that real men shows action. So Paul was showing action. <laughs> Whenever they could plan something, he could make sure that 
he shows action so that is why he went met Susie's parents and engaged her guys it was a formal introduction after the introduction guys Paul told Susie that now we should stop this thing of going returning I want you in Germany with me so that we can live together I want to marry you but guys they couldn't get married right away because Susie had not seen Paul's mother so they planned another trip so that Susie can see Paul's mother and then plan for the wedding and that is how it happened guys Susie went to Germany of course Paul wasn't living with his mother the mother was living in a different city where Paul lived so after arriving in Germany Paul called his mother his auntie everyone in the family to prepare something like a small party of introduction where Susie is going to see her mother-in-law for the first time are you ready for afro cinema <laughs> afro cinema continues shortly guys <laughs> <Or telenovela. laughs> let's take a break guys it's too hot i need some water <laughs> and we will continue of course So guys, they arranged fix the day and because days don't stop, <laughs> the day arrived to go and see Paul's mother. They went. When they reached at Paul's mother's place, the gate was opened, they entered with a car, parked the car and then they went to the door. You know guys here in Europe, they've got this system whereby they have switches outside the door. That switch is for the bell. You ring the bell so that they can open for you the door. And some houses have got something like a small hall where someone can, you know, look like this, see who is at the door. <laughs> if he or she wants to open the door to that person, she will open. If she doesn't, then she is not going to open the door. So they ring that bell and stayed there for five minutes no one was opening the door they were there surprised what is happening because they opened the gate for them why can they open the door for them why was it taking so long and after five minutes guys the door was opened but the person who opened the door was paul's auntie not paul's mother so they greeted everyone around but paul's mother was nowhere to be seen <laughs> so guys this is when the drama started but susie came to hear all about this story of what happened later on that day she did not know anything <laughs> And she tells us that if you feel like laughing, you just laugh, don't worry. <laughs> so as the way they told her is that <laughs> when the gate was opened, the mother-in-law was spying them because she had heard the story about Susie from Paul's brother and Paul's auntie who saw Susie when she first came. <laughs> So the mother was like, I want to see this lady that you are telling me about. <laughs> she stood on the window and started spying them as they got out of the car. And immediately when the mother saw Susie getting out of the car with the help of Paul, of course, the mother started saying, no, 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 it can't be. I'm not going to accept this. This lady get married to my son. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen. And they saw her collapsing, guys. She collapsed. The auntie panicked. Everyone who was there, they panicked. They were like, what is going to happen? If Paul finds his mother out of sense, what are we going to tell him? <laughs> and it was the first time seeing her collapsing. So they started like doing like this, wake up, wake up, wake up. She should wake up very fast, putting some cold water into her so that she can wake up. That is why they took long to open the door and they decided to take her to the room, then open the door for Susie and Paul. It was a very dramatic moment, but thank God Susie never got to find out about it that day. So when they entered inside the house, she did not see the mother-in-law and the auntie called Paul to talk with him privately, took him 
to the next room, explained to him of all what happened. When Paul returned, Susie asked him, where is your mother? Paul told her that my mother does not feel well. She is in the room resting. So that day, Susie never got to see the mother-in-law again. <laughs> they ate, celebrated, everyone that was there, they treated her very well. So after one week of the introduction failing, they fixed another date for the introduction but this time it wasn't anything like a party it was only paul and susie who were supposed to go see their mother the day arrived and they went when they reached there the mother opened the door but she wasn't smiling or anything she was very serious and talked to his son that she does not want that lady does not want susie susie could not understand their language because they are speaking in germany but later on paul explained everything to her that the mother is against their relationship but paul was determined that if you don't want this lady then you're going to forget about me this is the lady that i want to marry if you don't want her then forget about me. I am ready to forget about you. <laughs> oh my God, Paul was really in love, guys. So they left Paul's mother's house, not in good terms. Paul refused to respond to his mother for four days, guys. That is when the auntie called Paul. Paul was like, talk to your sister. If she accepts I marry Susie, then I'm going to talk to her. But if it is still her same, same words that she does not want Susie, and then I'm going to forget about her. I am very, very serious about this. So thank God that Paul's auntie was supporting Paul and Susie went to talk to her sister, Paul's mother, made her understand. And this lady, the problem was, if Paul marries that woman, what will happen in the future? How will his kids look like? She even went to an extent of saying that she is going to get birth to monsters. Can you imagine, guys? So, guys, Paul Auntie did a very big job to make Paul's mother understand and in the end she accepted she had no choice <laughs> and said okay I'm okay let them get married and da -da 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 -da, wedding bells <laughs> he planned for the wedding invited Susie's relatives she tells us that five of her relatives came including her mother and her father to the wedding it was a very big celebration everyone was there the mother-in-law was there it was a very special day for susie and paul so guys you can see love wins as long as you love each other truly no matter what challenge it will be nothing you are going to overcome it so guys, after one year of getting married, Susie got pregnant and she got a baby girl, a very, very beautiful girl that everyone got surprised, even her mother-in-law, who was saying that she's going to give birth to a monster. The baby was super, super beautiful, guys. When God wants to shut people's mouth, <laughs> he shuts them completely. <laughs> and after another one year, she got pregnant and gave birth to a baby boy. The boy is also cute, 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 guys. Very cute. All of her two kids, one is cuter than other. God is really faithful. Let's go quick to the big question. Which dating app did Susie meet Paul? They met on Match.com, guys match.com i'm going to write it down here because some of you when i mention you come again and ask what dating app it is match.com so guys susie's advice to all ladies that feel insecure about their bodies or you are disabled never give up on love you can find love no matter the way you look just trust in god believe in yourself love yourself accept yourself because if you accept yourself if you love yourself even other people are going to love you but never feel like the way you are is the reason to why you are not finding love god's time is the best keep on searching and she wishes you good luck my advice to you guys is that in swahili there is this proverb they say kabla hujafa 
This means that as long as you are living, you are still in creation. Anything can happen to you. That is why we see that someone was born very, very good, perfect, thinks that he is perfect or she is perfect, then happens an accident, boom, she is disabled. You see, that is life. As long as you're still living, anything can happen to you. You can also be disabled. Never look down on anyone. We are equal before God. Let love lead. So dear friends, I know this video has been really long. Thank you so much for watching it till now. I really hope it has helped you in any way, encouraged you, lifted you up, gave you positive energy to keep on searching, hoping that one day you will find true love on online dating apps too. <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up if you've liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video. Comment below what you think about this video. Video. don't forget to watch my other videos too they are super good subscribe please if you have not subscribed i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao